Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at how we can use all the textures and surfaces from the Quixel Bridge in our Substance Painter. So let's open your Quixel Bridge and log in. You don't need to buy any kind of subscription. Just go to the surfaces or you can search in the search bar. For example, if I need a wood texture, so let's just search wood or you can go to these categories. You'll find this wood here. Click on it and you'll see all these wood textures so let's download this one so if you click on it it will show you all these properties here just go to this setting and click on this download settings and choose your texture maps so i'm going to download albedo metalness roughness displacement normal and ao go back and download you can choose the resolution from here i'm going to take the 4k hit download and it will take a few seconds to download now we have downloaded these textures so go to this option and select this go to files so here you can see we have our texture maps so select all of them and go to the substance painter Open your project, import the model you want to texture and go to the folder again and drag and drop them into the project and define them as textures. Import your resources to current session or to this project. Now you need to take a new fill layer. You can enable the AO channel from the texture set settings and click on this plus icon and you can choose this ambient occlusion. It will give you an extra channel in your material properties. So go back and select this albedo and drop it in the base color and your AO to your ambient occlusion. Displacement to height, normal to normal, and roughness to roughness. For the wood, you can disable the metal. Now you can change the projection to tri planar and also increase the scale. So that's how you can use the textures from Quixel Bridge into your Substance Painter. So let's delete this layer and I'm going to import some more textures. Let's go back to bridge and and select this asphalt. I'm going to download some concrete asphalt textures. Something like this, click on it and hit download. So this texture is downloaded. So let's download a metal texture for our bars. So go to this metal section and select this painted. I'm going to download this rusty green metal sheet and hit download. All the texture you have downloaded, you can find them in this purchased section. So we have this asphalt and this paint. Let's select this one and go to files. Select all these textures, go to substance painter and in the project folder, let's import them and define them as textures. Again, take a new fill layer and select this albedo to base color, AO to 
ambient occlusion displacement to height normal to normal and roughness to roughness you can disable metal for this go to projection and change it to tri planner you can increase the scale like this let's import our metal texture so again go to bridge select this metal texture and go to files select these textures and import them in the project define them as textures and import Let's rename this as ground and take another fill layer. Import your base color AO your displacement normal and roughness. Now you can change the projection to tri planner and increase the scale to 2. Now you can add a filter. Let's select this HSL perceptive and change the hue. Do something like this. So that's how you can use all the textures from Quicksilver Bridge into your Substance Painter. You can also add some more dirt or scratches layer and then convert this into a smart material. And for that check out my other videos in the description. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video till then. Thank you for watching.